Well, this Black History Month, a local brewery is looking to make an impact with its version of Black is Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a craft beer recipe that's being made by breweries around the country. CBS 6's Brendan King joins us live to tell us about this special Hardywood release and who they hope to reach with this brew. Hey, Brendan. Good morning, Robin Reba. On this rainy Friday, I'm here at Hardywood. Did you know Hardywood here in Scott's Edition? Well, they have served up craft beers for some 10 years. They say they love giving back to the community. In fact, their motto is brew with a purpose. And so today their focus, black is beautiful. Check it out. I'm told it's an imperial stout, also considered a winter beer, brewed with coffee beans created by Weathered Souls Brewing. Those beans purposely is selected from Southeastern Roastery out of Baltimore, a female and black owned business. All net proceeds from this release today will be donated to the Richmond Black Restaurant Experience starting on March 6. It's a celebratory week dedicated to supporting Richmond's growing black culinary industry and tourism scene. Now, Eric McKay, he's the president of Hardywood. He admits that the craft beer scene is largely owned and operated by white men and admits sometimes minorities can be ignored. One of our, um, you know, core beliefs is that by encouraging inclusivity, um, both within the industry itself in terms of, you know, employment at breweries, but also um, attendance and support of craft beer. Um, I think it, it all improves with um, broader reach and, and greater inclusivity. If you like a pint of Black is Beautiful, Hardywood here on Own B Lane in Scott's Edition will open their doors at 2 o'clock this afternoon. They'll have food trucks and music. Robin Reba, it's not often you get the opportunity to relax with a beer while giving back to the community. <laughs> You're so right. I love this. Love the name. All right. Thanks, Brendan. Black is Beautiful. Oh.